Hello. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Cubase 12, which just released a couple of days ago. Yesterday, actually, but probably a couple of days ago by the time this video goes out. And I just want to test it out on an M1 MacBook Air. The native Apple Silicon version of it, which I'll load up here, only runs native Apple Silicon VST3 versions of plugins, which means that you're going to be pretty light on plugins for the time being if you're using this version. So if I load up this project here, this is all completely dongleless, by the way. This is just using the like, system based activations that they're using. But you can see all my non Apple native plugins are not running. That includes UAD, Plugin Alliance, Slate, BB Audio, etc. Straight off the bat, I can say it feels a lot snappier and a lot more responsive than the Rosetta 2 emulated version. Probably even snappier than the Intel version on Intel based machines that I have. But yeah, you can see here VSX isn't running, Sonarworks isn't running, Fan Opener Studio is not running, it's a top tonal balance. So these are all things that I do rely on. Playback's running fine. Performance meters being very well behaved. That's probably because all the plugins are disabled pretty much. Let's see. Just check to see what the latency is. Sample buffer. The sample buffer is at 256 at the minute. If I try and bring it down to 64. Hopefully that didn't scramble my capture, but uh, it seems to be behaving well too. So yeah, the, the native Apple Silicon version is running really well. What I'll do is I'll close this out and I'll load up the Rosetta 2. So what I need to do is go into the Applications folder, UBS 12, get info, open using Rosetta. So that's at 64 samples. I'm going to increase that again. Bring it back up to 256. See there, the Rosetta 2 poor performance is actually really good. It's a pretty heavily loaded project. Oh, where's my mixer? That's weird. have to reconfigure it a little bit by the looks of things. So I've got smooth operator, frequency, plug-in alliance stuff, slate stuff, neutron. Just 
Jerry O'Dele, Denise Audio, Perfect Room, Black Hole Reverb from Eventide. So yeah, there's a decent amount of processing there under Rosetta. That's a 256 samples. And it seems smooth still. and stuff like that's still working, so that's good. Don't know balance. So yeah, in terms of performance, Rosetta 2 is actually working really well. The native Apple Silicon version is working great, just needs support from third-party developers to release their plugins, basically native native Apple Silicon with VST3. The main one that I'm going to miss is VSX, Tonal Balance as well, and Can Opener Studio. I'm hoping that they come soon on the Plugin Alliance stuff. UBS no longer needing the dongle. That will be really nice just to be untethered and not need dongles. It means that I can just bring a set of headphones with me and the laptop and a small low-powered audio interface with a headphone amp and yeah, good to go. But yeah, the Rosetta 2 is working well anyway, so I guess it's an okay stopgap. They've obviously tried to optimize it as much as they can. Definitely a lot smoother than it was and responsive. So I'll try and get some videos up soon just showing the, the new features. But it's running really well on the M1 MacBook Air. So yeah, I'll be back with more videos soon. Cheers.